Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Um, anyone whom Allah guides, no one can misguide. Anyone whom Allah misguides, no one can guide. Uh, oh wow, my nose. Oh, you look, you can see my face change. But um, Safrullah, this is the third video to the series under the shade of Allah, and it's involving those who are connected to the masjid. Um. Alhamdulillah, this seems off topic, but inshallah, it will all go together. Uh, Ramadan's coming up, and I love Ramadan. I mean, I, I mean, it's awesome. I love it. Um, one thing I love about it most is going to the masjid. Because when you go to the masjid, you see people you have not seen, well, most of them since last Ramadan, but still, every time you see them, it's like, dang, I haven't seen you in 10 years. Although you saw them last, you know, last Ramadan. And I mean... And I just love that part. I like seeing people that I haven't seen since Sunday school. And then just seeing all these new people who say they live in your city, but it's like you've never seen them before in your life. And it's just the whole vibe of it. It's just like, ooh, ooh, like, I love the masjid. I love the masjid. It's awesome. I love it. And especially, like, since, um, alhamdulillah, we now have, like, a giant masjid in our area. And it's not, like, a, it's not small. And those who do have a small masjid, that's still awesome. But um, it just makes it to where now even more people can go. And now we bought another part, and now lots of people can come. So I cannot wait till this Ramadan. There's going to be so many people. And and I just love it because everyone's just, like, so excited to be Muslim and just like, ooh, I love the masjid. And I swear, when it comes to donations, it's just, like, over the top. Like, people are donating. I remember this guy, he donated 70000 dollars like subhanallah you need a button that says i am awesome on it but um like i said i love it because i really do love it i love it i love it i love it sometimes not gonna lie especially when it turns to that 27th day of ramadan and the masjid you can't even drive into the parking lot and and uh and you have to walk from some random car dealership to the masjid, uh, I don't know. It has me reflect on why so many people, when it comes to Ramadan, are so attached to the masjid. They just love the masjid. But honestly, a week away from Ramadan, no one's there. Trust me, no one's there. I mean, you'll go to pray, like, Maghrib, and there's no one. There might be, like, the sheikh and, like, four or five guys I remember one time we went to pray Osir and like they didn't even pray it on time because no one was there. I think they prayed it maybe like 10 minutes late because no one was there. No one was even there to pray it. And this isn't anything on a shake. He happened to be out of town. And I'm assuming somebody was supposed to take his place, but no one did. And um, it makes me sad because it's like, oh, on occasion, I'm going to love just being Muslim and all of this stuff. But it's like, why can't we just do that every day? Why can't we just love the masjid like every day? I mean, I mean, it's still the same place. It's not like during Ramadan, it turns awesome. It's not like our masjid makes it more pretty. It's not like there's like, I know I understand that the, the, the air, I guess, is a little lighter during Ramadan, you know, more blessings and people are just way more happy and nice. But it's like, why can't we just do that every day? Why can't we love the masjid every day? I mean... SubhanAllah, like I was saying, we bought that new land. Oh my gosh. He was donating like crazy. Do, 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 like the auction people. And we had to get it in a month. And it took us like, they had to extend it in order for us to get the money. I swear, during Ramadan, they can make that money in like a night. It was like, I think it was $290,000. And it took us over a month to make that. And one night during Ramadan, you can make that in one night. And it's just crazy because it's, it's awesome. I understand why. You want to take advantage of Ramadan. You want to take advantage of all the blessings. But why can't we just make it to where we're always like that? Or at least a little bit like that. You see some people, like I said, they only come to the masjid during Ramadan. I mean, what? I don't know. I'm not going to judge or anything like that. But I, under, I, I think as Muslims, we need to have more of a connection with the masjid outside Ramadan because the masjid provides so much for us and I always say this especially here in the U.S. because here it's pretty much even being in like your own house it's like fitna 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 but like at the masjid it's different there's like a sereneness about that and I know that's not a word but 
it's like when you go to the masjid, there's nothing really to distract you. It's kind of just like you, Allah. And, and, and I feel like if we actually believe that, then inshallah, more people would go to the masjid. And honestly, the masjid has so many opportunities at more blessings too. Because when you go to the masjid, you'll see a flyer, volunteer for here, do this here. And, and there's just, it's just peaceful. And I know there's this thing about masjid drama. I'm never going to the masjid again because there's so much drama. And I know as women, you're not obligated to go to the masjid. I know that. But why on earth are you going to let some freak take the opportunity from you going to the masjid? Like, honestly, they're winning in the end. So yes, they talk about you or whatever, or whatever you think people are doing, plotting against you, some master plan. Why are you going to let these freaks take your opportunity at going to the masjid? And usually the masjid, honestly, it's a better place than anywhere you're going to be. Come on. At your house, you have your TV, your internet, um, everything at your house. Opportunities to do anything. When you go to the masjid, there's nothing you can do but pray. Let's say you go with a friend. Uh, read Quran. I mean, there's just so many. It's, it's just a different environment. And you're going to let somebody else, some weirdo who doesn't who cares so much more about other people's lives than their own take that opportunity away from you come on come on they're they're winning so i mean alhamdulillah we're all muslim i'm i love being muslim but i hope that inshallah um we all can have a greater connection with the masjid outside of ramadan outside of some special occasion and um, just cherish the, cherish the fact that we even have a masjid. The Prophet's masjid was a mini masjid. It was mini. It was a baby masjid. It was like, no, it was an ant compared to the masjids we have today. We have masjids with elevators. Like, seriously, you can't walk one flight of stairs. It's not The masjid's not even three stories high. It's like one flight of stairs. I know, I know. Wheelchairs and all of that. I'm just, you know. We have ele masjids with elevators. Masjids with uh, exercise equipment. Uh, youth centers. I saw a masjid. Oh my gosh. It had this thing. Like when you go in after Juma, this like, this thing will pop out and it becomes a shade, like a gazebo coming from the masjid. Like, woo, mama mia. But the sad part about this, our masjids are huge, mega. And the prophet's masjid was like a baby. There was more people going to this baby masjid than our million dollar, billion dollar masjids. And that's just sad. I mean, that's actually really sad. And so I think it's funny. We spend all this money. Let's raise money. Let's make our masjid so big and no one's going. And and for those who do go, may Allah please bless you with Jannah, inshallah, because you're awesome. That's what you are. <laughs> but um, think of it that way. Your masjid spending millions of dollars to make to make your life, I guess, more. Um, no, scratch that. We're spending billions of dollars to build all of these things, Islamic centers, and no one's going. So as Muslims, um, we need to go. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for listening. Get out. I need to get that. I already told you I was making this video. Assalamu alaikum.